Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have another viewer request. I was planning on doing an unboxing of the NASA vans, which actually my pair came today in the mail, but I'll probably be putting that out tomorrow. I might do two videos tomorrow because I have so many viewer requests of different comparisons. So today's is going to be the MacBook Pro maxed out versus the Mac Mini maxed out. Um, now, the requester didn't give any specifics on 13 inch or 15 inch. I'm going to assume that since they're wanting, you know, maxed out that they're going 15 inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the 15 inch MacBook Pro, basically the same one that I bought. Um, and then I'm gonna pull up the Mac Mini and we're gonna max these out. And we're gonna, I'm gonna go over the differences and who each is for. Um, it really depends what you're doing. Um, but these are actually more similar than you think. And it, they also rival the iMac Pro. So I should probably throw in a video about those soon as well, just to kind of help you guys out. Um, but here we go. So 15 inch, let's max this out just the way I did. I did it with this with 512. Um, but yeah, let's not mess with the storage because that's totally up to you guys. That's, I, I think it's fine with 512. Some of you might want to go up to one terabyte, but um, whatever, 512 is fine for me. Uh, next time I would get, if I could redo it, uh, I would probably um, consider the one terabyte more uh, just because these 4K video files are so big, but it's fine for now. Uh, Mac mini, let's max this one out. Uh, for this one, we gotta go 32 gigs. I guess we could go 64. Uh, let's do 512, just to kind of keep them in check. This gigabit ethernet port doesn't really matter for pretty much any of you guys. Um, I can almost guarantee none of you can use that, but if you are in a corporate environment or something, you could. All right, so let's look at the specs here. So we've got the 15 inch MacBook Pro in space gray here. Color doesn't really matter. Uh, you guys could choose silver if you wanted, same exact thing. So 2.9 gigahertz, six core, eighth gen Intel Core i9 processor with turbo boost up to 4.8 gigahertz. This is exactly the machine that I'm running right now. It's a great processor. It's very fast. It runs a little warm, but what do you expect? Battery life is pretty decent. This processor is not the most battery efficient. However, it does get the job done uh, in a relatively good way, which back when I was uh, going through college and university, I was using MacBook Pros as well. But this one right here, this brand new one, I think it would last an entire day. So for all of you guys that are just getting into college, um, this is a great machine for it. Anyways, don't worry about battery life. Battery life should get you just fine. This is the beastliest processor you can possibly get on this thing. So you know it's gonna tear through just about everything. The Geekbench scores are like 5,000 single core, 22,000 multi-core, so don't worry about that. Uh, the only thing you do have to worry about is thermal throttling, but we've been through this. Uh, I have tons of videos uh, on my channel about that whole debacle. Retina display with True Tone. The display on this thing looks absolutely great. Bezels are not actually too big. Touch bar is fine, Touch ID is cool. Radeon Pro 560X graphics card with four gigs of GDDR5 memory. The graphics performance on this machine is, uh, it's about average, I would say. It's nothing great. Uh, if you're gonna do gaming, um, you're not gonna get the greatest frame rates. Fortnite doesn't work too well, but it's not super optimized. Um, some browser-based games, you'll get um, some choppiness sometimes, but overall, like if you're just gonna, like I personally do some web browser games occasionally, and it's totally playable, but Occasionally, if there's a ton of graphics on the screen, it'll chop up for just a second or two until you kind of calm down. This is not a gaming machine by any means, okay? Keep that in mind. 32 gigs of RAM, that's great. Uh, I would not go any lower than that personally, but a lot of you guys would get away with 16 just fine. 512 gig SSD, uh, that's about, uh, that's probably the minimum these days that you should be getting uh, if you don't want to use external hard drives. Now for the Mac Mini. Now this is where things get interesting because on this, you have a 3.2 gigahertz, six core eighth gen Intel Core i7 with turbo boost up to 4.6 gigahertz. So this thing is actually pretty similar to the MacBook Pros, except it's not called the i9. So it's called this one, the i7. So this looks to be the correct Geekbench here. I wanna make sure I pull up the right one for you guys. i7, Mac Mini, late 2018, 3.2 gigahertz right here. So these are the scores for this, 5,600 here and 24,000 here. So this is actually a little bit more powerful than my MacBook Pro. Now I know it's not the i9, but that's just stupid naming conventions by Intel. Uh, this thing is a beast. I would like to think that this has better thermals than my MacBook Pro, I'm not sure, but let's just say this. If you get the Mac Mini versus the MacBook Pro here, you're gonna have similar performance as far as processor goes. Now you can look at the prices, huge difference. So I'm telling you guys, this processor and this processor are relatively similar, but you can save about 500 bucks straight up 
right here even more if you get rid of some of this crap like you don't need this uh you might, yeah i would go with that you might not need this i mean come on 32 gigs let's make them comparable all right and look at that you've got a almost 1500 dollar price difference between these two for similar specs now you gotta bear in mind this doesn't come with a screen or anything but just keep that in mind so the rest is pretty much run of the mill here you got your ram i mean 16 gigs is probably the minimum for most people um 32 is great if you're a content editor and i mean if you're maxing one of these out why not just go whole hog um gigabit ethernet that's normal so yeah if you guys have a desktop setup and you're looking to spend you know about two grand on a computer uh this mac mini is going to tear through stuff pretty much just as well as this 15 inch macbook pro that i have um should be pretty similar now the cons of this are you're paying fifteen hundred dollars extra for this macbook pro for the portability like that's what you're paying for you got the screen you got the portability they got the keyboard the nice trackpad you got all that nice speakers all built into one now this mac mini does not have a camera it has a pretty crappy speaker no keyboard no trackpad obviously no screen so really you got to think about what you want do you want portability or do you want a desktop class workstation so if you're cool with having a desktop, save some money, get this, maybe get yourself a nice uh, 4K monitor or something, uh, spend another five, 600 bucks on peripherals and you're set. Let's be honest, that's cheaper. Uh, or you, if you need to you know, take it on the go, get the 15 inch MacBook Pro. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, moral of the story here is either one, if you max it out, they're gonna have pretty similar performance, which a lot of people, a lot of you guys probably didn't see that coming. Probably would have thought one or the other would be better but they're pretty similar. It really comes down to personal preference and use case scenario. So I tried to make this video as quickly as possible. I know there's a ton of information thrown at you, um, but I don't like these videos that some YouTubers make that go on for like 20 minutes talking about stupid stuff. So I'm trying to get you guys this information as quickly as possible. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, again, drop any comments down below on what you wanna see next. Um, I've got a couple other videos that I need to get out for you guys so you guys can make a better decision to buy. Uh, you guys have been blowing up the comments recently, and I've been trying to help each and every one of you. So if you have any questions, drop them down below and I'll help you out. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.